spanking is like way different from like beating a child. Hey guys, Morgan here. So, um, this interesting topic came up. So recently on Twitter, I saw two things that sort of gave me pause. One was, I saw a post that was like, um, you know, some of you have never been beaten and it shows or whatever. And then, and like, whatever, I've seen those posts around the internet on and off again, right? And then the other thing that I saw was I saw a woman who, she works with kids um, I think in a doctor's office or something like that. And she posted about a mother who had an eight month old. And when the eight month old would cry, she would spank her kid. And the mother's argument was like, well, she's, you know, she knows better. Eight months old, like if your kid is crying, it's because, you know, they're hungry or they're tired or they need a diaper change or, you know, they're uncomfortable or whatever. It's not a behavioral issue at eight months if your kid is crying. It it really got to me, because I was like, why do we think that hitting children is the proper response to like, to nearly anything? And also, I made a post about like, if you bring kids into my house and they're misbehaving, and like I pointed out to you and you don't step in in order to like be a parent to your child, then like, I'm gonna step in and parent your child. And a number of people, like three or four people, they were like, well, what do you mean by parent? And they were asking me like, are you talking about hitting someone else's child? And I'm like, why do we live in a society where parenting is synonymous with like hitting someone? Like that is messed up. It inspired me to like, I wrote a post about it and I'll post it on my blog and I'll put the link below. But I just wanted to say like, for anyone out there who like was raised with someone who would like hit you in order to get you to behave, like that's not the only option of like ways to handle a child's behavior. Um, and people who post about it on the internet, like, well, if you don't hit your kids, then they're gonna be soft or just wait until your kid is going off and ma 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 ma, right? Like these people that post that stuff on the internet is just because they're trying to justify their own actions, right? Like they've beaten their kids and so they have to tell you that that's the right way to parent because that's what they did. And that's it. It doesn't actually, like if there was science that showed that like if you beat your kids, then they're like more intelligent and better behaved and all of this other stuff, like it would be published. Okay, so for generations, right? Like if you were beaten by your mom and then, and then you have a kid and your kid is doing the same crap that you used to do when you were a kid, then like what do you, what do you know? Well, from growing up, you know hitting and you know that like sometimes you would stop misbehaving, you know, when your parent hit you, right? Or whatever. So that's what people are likely to do if that's what they grew up with. But it's an uninspected thing. It's like the self-reflection necessary to be like, huh, you know, why do I think that I should be like physically dominating my child? You know, like that's weird, right? Um, You know, if I was being physically dominated by someone else, I wouldn't like that. Sure, you know, there's a language barrier and whatever, but if you talk to kids, they know what you're saying. Like even as young as like six, eight, 10, 12 months, they know what you're saying and they know what you want from them and they may not be able to always comply, but children who are treated with respect and with boundaries are the children that end up like being these responsible people. And obviously my viewpoint and my opinion is based on my own experiences and observations, just like everyone else's is. So like, if you don't like what I'm saying, then like, don't friggin' listen to me, right? There have been studies that show the proper way to parent and the results from proper parenting. And you can Google it. If you Google 
effective parenting styles, there's a style that comes up. It's called authoritative, and it you can get a whole description on it. Like, I'm not just talking out of my ass. Like, I did research on this topic. Anyway, my point is, and the thing that I wrote the blog post about was like, you don't have to hit your kids in order to have them be good kids. Very rarely and occasionally, I can understand why a parent would spank their kid. My kid is almost two. I have never needed to spank him. I have observed situations with other parents where I thought that they were justified in spanking under the specific circumstances that I observed. So there you go, if you wanna know what I think about spanking. And, but spanking is like way different from like beating a child. Like if you're talking about like, you never got your ass whooped and it shows. Like that's not the same as spanking. A spank is a very specific action. And if you're using implements, if there's belts or some sort of whip or a, a switch or like all of these things are like, why are we still doing this to children? Like none of that works. None of that is actually an effective technique for raising self-aware, independent, well-rounded children. So that's my rant for the day. Um, feel free to drop me a comment if you agree, if you disagree, I'm cool. Like if you disagree with me, that's fine. Let's talk about it. And uh, I'm also gonna drop all my social media links below. So um, come chat with me.